What's up, e-bikers? Let's talk about how to assemble an e-bike next on the channel. So when you buy an e-bike today, you have to put some of it together. It comes about, I'd say, 95% assembled. But uh, some bikes are a little bit different than others. But for the most part, you're going to be putting on things like the front tire, the pedals, uh, the handlebars, and things like that. It's typical. Uh, sometimes you might have to put on a fork or a uh, kickstand as well, or even the display. But uh, for the most part, it's about a 20, 30, 40 minute process, depending on the kind of bike you get. And so today we're going to open up this Hachi that you just got. It's a dual battery e-bike from uh, the folks over at Hachi, so nice lot to them. And uh, I'll put it together and kind of walk you through that process along the way. I haven't done too many unboxings lately just because I think they're kind of boring sometimes, but Hachi asked me to do the assembly in this one for a video, so let's get to it and get on with it. All right, so tools of the trade. I got my snips and I got my trusty Allen wrenches here. I got a three, four, five, and a six. Uh, you probably need a combination of, of most of those. Uh, when you're doing these e-bikes, so we'll see how this one's packed. Sometimes they do get damaged in shipping, so that's the one thing you got to watch out for when you get these e-bikes. Let me grab the camera and uh, I'll show you what it's like inside here. So here is a bike. It comes in, uh, basically it's wrapped up for the most part. Uh, there's some boxes in here with stuff. But um, you can see a tire down there. And now we got to get it out of here. First thing I'll do is just take out the loose stuff. So here's the charger, that side. Got another box here. Let's open this up real quick. Probably the pedals. Pedals and tools. Which pedals here we gotta put on. There's a oh a front headlight. Forgot about that. There's a quick release axle in here. And then oh, let's go through the second charger for the second battery. So let's put this aside. Anything else loose in here? So usually the tire is, the front tire is off usually, and it's on the side right here. They clip it to the side with some uh, zip ties, so that's the first thing I usually grab, or try to grab when I'm in here. Okay. You can also cut open the box from the side to get it out. But let's see here. Do I see any more zip ties? Yep. That came out pretty easy. Uh... Okay. Here's the front, here's the front tire. And it's actually a nice and light one. It's got these nice cutouts I've never seen before on an e-bike tire like that. I've seen different ones, like just the curved, the uh, circle one, but this one has multiple cutouts on each side. And it's a nice chrome tire as well. So Chow Yang, my one of my favorite tires as well. Chow Yang on the side there. You will have to inflate the tires as well uh, when you're done with this. That's kind of my last step, but don't forget to uh, pump those up. It just it's lighter if they for shipping if they don't air up the tires. So keep that in mind. All right, let's drag this out of here. And spike is pretty heavy, I think. Oh, there's a they sent me a pump. 
a little hand pump in case you don't have one. I have a electronic pump, but uh, that should be handy as well. I'm gonna keep it on the bike. Okay, so take out any loose foam here that might get in the way. And I think we can lift it out of the box. Uh, I usually recommend two people doing this because it weighs probably 80 pounds or so. But it's actually not too bad. Okay. Let's get the box out of the way. Here is what's in the box. So this is very typical of most e-bikes when they come. And uh, this one is in silver and it's a, uh, it's got a dual leg kickstand. It's a cargo e-bike with two batteries. Um, where is the other battery? Is it in the box still? Ah, uh, yes, okay. So, I'm assuming there's one battery in the deck. Let's open the second battery. Oh, they're both in here. And two sets of keys, too. So, here's your batteries. And a set of keys for each. Once you take the batteries out, uh, charge them up. They come usually like half charged or so. Um, and so I've got them plugged in here. Uh, the red indicates it's charging. Green indicates it's uh, fully charged. So once you do that, once you see green, you can take it off. You can see the other one charging there as well. But uh, these are... It's an 11.6 amp hour, 48 volts, and I think this is a 14 maybe. Uh, I'll check it, but um, yeah, get them charged up while you're assembling the bike as well. All right, next step is just basically uh, stripping off all the foam and tape uh, to get the bike ready. So let's start with the tire first. Okay, so here's what you gotta put on. You gotta put on the front tire. You gotta put on the uh, front fender, front headlight down there. You got the uh, quick release axle for the front tire, the pedals, and then of course the handlebars, which are hanging off the electronics there. Looks like we gotta plug in the uh, power button too there. But uh, that's it. So basically, they give you some tools here. They've got these, looks like that's for bigger nut and you got the uh, little hex wrenches you need here as well as another type of wrench there probably for the, uh, the pedals so let's get to it here's your uh, here's your quick release make sure the springs on the ends are facing inward just like that and then unscrew one side Take off the cap and take off the spring, and you're gonna slide it through the uh, the axle.
Let's get it from the bike. Use my foot underneath just to hold it in place while I get the other side on. Okay, now I'm just tightening the other side. Okay, now it's on. We'll check it later to make sure it's tight. We'll use a number of four Allen wrench to get off the head tube here. The head bracket, whatever you want to call this. There is a washer on there, so make sure you don't lose the washer. Okay, last piece of puzzle is these metal pedals. I've got my hard tool grease. I'm going to grease up the pedal a bit first. Not too much, just to help it. I'm going to grab my park tool pedal wrench here. So this is the right side, so it screws on normally. Okay, it's in there. So what I do, I usually like to do uh, a roundabout here. I hold the uh, pedal in place, then I just go back, and it basically screws in itself at this point. And when it's done screwing in, it's going to stop, just like that. And I'm going to tighten it. Put my hand there, and your pedal's installed. That was easy. Let's grease up the left one and do the same thing. Left one goes on counterclockwise. Uh, it screws in counterclockwise, so just got to remember that. There's your left pedal. And normally they're marked, so you can see that it says left there. So I'm just going to screw it into the left like that. Okay, it's in. And you can twist it with the wrench, or you can just twist it on the pedals by going backwards. Hold the wrench in place and it will screw in itself. Uh, 
All right, and we're done with the pedals. Last step is the batteries. The bottom one goes in like this. Turn the key. Snap in place. Make sure it's locked. There we go. You have to turn this switch to the, the side and then lock it with the key. Now it's in there. The battery just snaps in there pretty easy. And you do have to lock it, there is a key. It just secures it to the back of the plate here. Okay. And we got two tires too, so it's, it's max inflate 20 PSI. So I've got my handy little gun here. And the very last, most rewarding step, removing that plastic from the display. Gotta love that. Turn the bike on over here. Hold on the power button for a couple seconds. And we've got power, guys. Check the throttle. Let's put in PS1. Make sure the back wheel's up. It is. And hit that throttle. So that's how you put together an e-bike. Pretty simple, didn't take long. I don't know, maybe I had to cut it all up, 20 minutes maybe. So uh, pedals, front, uh, front tire, front fender, front light, and handlebars. And again, it's very typical of your average e-bike today that you get from online. Um, what do you think about this bike? It looks pretty nice, guys. I'm looking forward to riding it. Um, I think the brakes are mechanical. It has these cheap grips, which I hate these grips, but I think over the overall package is pretty nice. And I love that silver. And those chrome rims are super awesome, right? Those are the one of the nicer pair of rims I've seen on an e-bike before. So nice job with uh pouchy, as it's called. Um that's right, H A O Q I, right? Pouchy they call it. Um again, it's a uh, 500 watt dual battery step through so uh looking forward to doing the reviews for you guys and uh looks like we've got a brake light back there 500 watt motor nice beefy rack uh, i've never seen that type of rack before it looks pretty nice it's kind of long so a little more of a cargo addition here seat yeah it's actually pretty soft wow it's definitely uh feels like gel a gel seat. I'm interested to see if that's nice or not. But uh, there's your stem. Might do uh might be better off with a full adjustable stem on there. But uh, very nice package, great, great color, and uh, love those tires as well. So anyway, I'll get the review done soon for you guys. But that's how you put together an e-bike. It's pretty simple for the most part. I've done these, I've done, you know, 30 of these probably in the last year or so. For me, it's kind of uh, uh, pretty easy and, and simple um, and quick. But uh, if it's your first time, definitely uh, that's what to expect. And uh, if you've got any questions or comments, drop them in the uh, video there. And I'll see you on the next Crisscross. Mm -hmm.